there are many timid souls who will watch a lot of Netflix this festive season and they're always going to wonder what could I have achieved during a pandemic? Right now you can't go out and gather in groups, you can't travel, you can't do any of those social obligations that used to get in the way. Don't you see? This is your chance when so much of what used to distract us is off the table. We have the energy and the ideas and the inspiration to create something where there was nothing before. We have whole worlds in our heads. Our creative energy is a magical field of potential that lives inside us and crackles in the air around us. Can you hear it? You have to respect it. If you don't use it, your creative magic will turn on you and eat you up. Drama, depression, anxiety, illness you'll see it turning itself inward to destroy you. Your one job is to learn to play with it, channel it, stitch it together into new shapes and launch it out into the world. Too often we've been told that there are things that are more important, chores and obligations. Those are your obligations to others and they have their place. But you have an obligation to yourself too, one that you haven't been fighting for. If you don't have time to be creative, you've given yourself away. Claw yourself back five minutes at a time. Sing, paint, sew, create. When you set your magic free, you recharge and you give your best gifts. This is what you were made for. You've been given this power for a reason. Don't squander it. Pick a project and nurture it. Use your gifts just so that you can find out what you can do. You and I are on the same team. You're a wizard, my friend. You're a powerful being of light. Did they forget to tell you? You have a responsibility to discover yourself and learn to use your power to create because using your creativity is not just about you. It's not just idle play. When you channel and practice using your creativity, you're preparing to change the world. Because make no mistake, in times of crisis, it's creative people who make the art that says what we're all thinking. It's art that galvanizes movements and revolutions. So what's your pandemic project? Is it a novel or a painting or a dress? Soon there'll be a vaccine and this window will close. It's time to step up, my friend. This is just the beginning.